everyone should be able to use a compass and a map in order to orient and get themselves somewhere. However, you can also get somewhere without having to have a compass by locating features on a map that help you orient and get to your desired destination. In this case here, you're trying to go from start to finish, but there's things in the way. And so you need something like a handrail to help you navigate around that. Handrails can be things like buildings and rivers or lakes or tree lines or actual handrails. Well, not really. So take this map of Mitch Park in Edmond, Oklahoma. <clears throat> it's a satellite image, but on it we have some distinct features that we can memorize and use to our advantage when trying to go from point A to point B. Buildings are one feature that's very nice because they're typically larger, they're distinct, and they stand out. And if there's multiple of them, then you can orient yourself in respect to them. Roads are also a nice feature because they're typically continuous. They're running from somewhere to somewhere. So if we're on one side versus the other side of the road, it can help us orient us in respect to where we're trying to ultimately get. You'll notice the add-in of the purple, those are trails. Whether they're an animal trail or a well-marked trail that humans take, they also provide guidance and orientation. Water features are really important too, whether it's a lake or a pond or even a river. A river is great because it's like a road, it's traveling somewhere. But ponds and lakes are good because they're relatively distinctive and you can keep it on one side or the other side of you to help you stay oriented. When we put it all together, you can see that we have multiple features that we can use to help orient us. Not mentioned are trees. You can see a tree line, which happens to be adjacent to one of the roads on the north side. That's also very helpful in the case that the road didn't exist. All of these together can help us stay very oriented. So let's put it all together. We want to go from the start to the finish, but there's things in the way. So we need to find a route around using handrails and without a compass and only our map. So how do we do it? So in this case, I would start in the parking lot as shown and travel west, keeping the YMCA building just to my south or on my left. Then once I got to the back side of it, I would turn left or southwest and follow the tree line south, eventually getting to a pond and keeping the pond on my left and coming to the far corner, the far southwest portion to find my destination. If you're gonna use this type of technique, it's really important that you study a map prior to utilizing the map so that you can pull out any of those distinct features that might be helpful once you get out and about. One more word about handrails and maps. This is a topo map. It's a great one to use, especially when hiking, because it shows elevation change. Now, Mitch Park, as shown here, does not have much elevation change. But where the lines are closer together, there is a more steep change in that elevation. So if you are navigating and you're trying to get from point A to point B, you also need to take into account changes in elevation so that you don't get yourself in a situation where you find yourself on the edge of a cliff just above your destination, but you can't get there because you haven't planned accordingly. The good news is, is that Mitch Park's area is relatively flat with only undulating hills. So if you're trying to get from point A to point B, you're not gonna have to take elevation into account too much. But this skill and knowledge is important for you to know for future outings.